guys, welcome to MIND. MIND is a mobility, flexibility, stability workout. Um, so really good to do at any point in your training, um, every day if you want. Really good to help keep the body moving. I'm going to be doing the class with my trainers, um, just because I've got a little bit of a bit foot injury, but you are free to do it in your bed feet. I feel that's best for you. Okay, so we're going to head off and we're going to start with our first block of work, which is mobility. So let's just start. Take our feet wide, roll the shoulders back, and we're going to take a fan up. So take a deep breath in. And then all I want you to do is bend from the hips into a neutral hinge. So we're just coming down to the floor, bend the knees, and round back up to go again. So it extends as the arms come up to the ceiling. Let them come down. From here, hinge from the hips, and feel that little stretch in the hamstrings. Bend the knees into a squat, and then roll all the way back up to soft. Let's go again, so take a deep breath in. From here, hinge from the hips, hamstring stretch as we go down. Good, then bend the knees, round through the back, and roll back up. Okay, let's do one more, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge from the hips. And then just twist side to side. So in this rotation, we want to think that we're working through our waist. And we're thinking about the spine twisting side to side. Start to add bigger arms if you want to. And just allow that heel to come up the back. So mobility is about moving the joints. So we want to, in this first section, be warming the muscles as well. But as we develop each exercise that we do, let's see if you can take it further. So I'm going to add a little knee bend and I'm going to see if I can twist around a little bit further side to side. Good, 10 more seconds guys. Okay, we're going to go into a side bend next. So feet are wide. Just hinge from the hips and see how far down to the knee we can come change sides. So hinge down, lift back up. So now we've twisted the spine round. We're moving laterally now side to side. Okay, start to bring the elbow up on the opposite arm. So you'll feel a bit of a bigger stretch as we come down the side. And then if that feels cool, well, we can take that elbow and we can take the arm over into slight bend here. Come back up, change the side so the hand lowers down towards the knee. We stretch over, we lift back up, and we go again. Slide that hand down the thigh, reach over, see if we can get a little bit further every time as we stretch through. Try not to lean forward, just lean into the side. One more time. So now in this wide position, we're going to do a spine roll. So we're going to drop our chin to our chest. We're going to think about falling to the floor and we're getting as deep as we can into that hamstring stretch. Stay there for a few seconds and then restack the vertebrae one at a time. So slight bend in the knee. Start with the lower back and then peel all the way back up to the top. When we get to the top, roll the shoulders back and down and the chest. Eyes to the ceiling and then reverse it. So tuck the chin under. Round through the shoulders, pull the tummy in as well. So we're rounding through the back, coming down to the floor. If you want to stay in that stretch a second, go for it. And then bend the knees and let's round back up. Good. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, we're gonna stay in this wide legs position and head into a squat now. So now, we've kind of mobilized the spine. Let's think about the legs now. So we want knees warm. This nice deep squat is gonna really help us to get our muscles warm as well so we're, for when we get into the flexibility. So as we're sitting into squat, chest is lifted and you're pushing the weight back into the heels. Now, let's slow our tempo. So let's go two down. 
and then two counts back off. See how I'm trying to now sink deeper into that squat position. Now just get as deep as you can, don't worry. If you're not getting all the way down, you wanna feel that you're pushing through that range of movement that you've got at the moment and extend as full range of movement as you can. right down. As at, at the bottom, you want to start just putting a little bit of pressure against the knees with the elbows. So we start to feel that stretch in the inner thigh a little bit more. Come back up and do one more and stay down this time. So now we're into frog squats. The hands are coming to the floor. I'm going to lift my hips into a hamstring stretch and then I'm going to lower back down into that frog squat. See how I'm trying to keep my back as flat as I can. Head goes down and stretch my hamstrings. And then lower the bottom down and then lift up here. Now, if you're struggling to get all the way down, hands can be on thighs instead, and we could be coming to a half squat here. So, lengthening out through the hamstring and then full mobility now through the hips. Good, let's see two more. Okay, we're going to take some lunges, so I'm going to step back onto the ball of my foot and switch sides. I'm going to drop as deep as we can into this lunge. If you want to come halfway, again, you're just going with your range of movement right now, yeah? Add some arms, reach up, lift. Now, as we lift our arms, think about getting the fingertips to the corner of the room. All the way up. Good. One more each side. Now let's change that to a pull down squat. So I'm going to take my feet out wide, put my elbows into my ribs. Feet are turned out, toes are turned out, warming knees, shoulders, and hips. Good. Hopefully, heart rate's going up a little bit more now as well as we start to feel a little bit warmer. 10 more seconds. Now, I want us to come deep down into a squat and hold here. So back into this squat, we're gonna take our fingertips to the floor and we're gonna reach one arm around to the side. Hold for a few seconds. Come back down and change sides. So twisting through the lower back. Now I'm really tight in my lower back, so I struggle with this one. If you need to, you could be here, in that squat position, drop the elbow to the knee and twist. So you can feel that rotation through your spine, you're not quite as deep in that squat. Your choice. Try to get as far around as you can with the fingers. on each side. Okay. Come back up to standing. From here, we're going to inch work. So I'm going to come to the back of my mat. I'm going to roll down, chin to chest. Feel that stretch through the hamstring. Brace the abs. Walk the hands out to a plank position. Walk the hands back in. Bend the knees. And let's round back up. Extend at the top. Go again, roll down. Walk the hands out. And then walk the hands back in. Bend the knees. Roll up. Good, do one more and stay down on the floor. So now we're going to change it. And we're going to inchworm our feet. So we're in this plank position. Tiptoe the feet in towards the wrists. Hold there a second and then tiptoe the feet back out. Be as light as you can in your feet. Hold in that plank. Go again. So tiptoe the feet in. Lift the hips as we go. Heads tucked under. And then walk the feet back out. Keeping the abs braced. Good job. Do one more. So walk the feet in. 
walk the feet back out. Now, last few seconds of our mobility, drop to the knees, crouching down dog. So we're going to lift up the two and roll back down the two. So I'm wanting you to now feel this stretching through your calves and fully mobilizing your ankles, your shoulders and your back. Stay in the down dog, last 10 seconds. Flatten off the back, push the weight through the heels, head towards the knees. Guys, walk the hands to the toes, bend the knees, round up, grab some water if you need it. So that is our mobility section done. We're going to head into stability now. So I'm testing our balance a little bit more. And we're going to start off with a, a standing hip circle. So just find your centre, lift one knee, circle the leg out. And then once you're here, turn the knee and bring it back. Realign and go again. So we bring the knee up, we take it out to the side, turn the hip. So if you can imagine your hip joint now, we're going through all the different ranges of motion, but I'm asking you to do it stood on one foot. Without holding on, if you can, obviously you can hold on if you want to, which is going to then create instability. So our muscles have to learn how to overcome that, which in turn will lead to more stability through your core. Let's go one more time. Okay, so we're gonna go next move is a balance to crane. I'm gonna turn this way. So I'm gonna bring my right knee up. I'm gonna tip forward into a balance, and then I'm gonna bring that knee up and hold here. How we go. So tip forward, slight bend in the knee if you need to on that supporting leg. Pull up through the glutes, then bring the knee in. And balance it tall, nice and strong. Fixing your eyes on one point on the floor to help with your balance if you need it. And guys, if you've got your um, trainers off, if you've got bare feet, you'll feel the floor through your toes. So use that to help with your balance. Okay, let's go one more and then we're going to change sides. That supporting leg should start to feel the tension as well. Okay, changing legs, opposite side. So get your balance, set yourselves up. I'm going to lift my knee and then I'm going to tip forward. Eyes are focused. As we bring the leg out of the back, really squeeze the glutes in that back leg to help with that stability. And we're not rushing this. We are taking our time, which in turn makes it a little bit harder. We're really thinking about which muscles we have to use to help us keep strong and stable. Really pulling abs in in this balance here. And then really squeezing glutes as we tip forward to balance here. Let's do one more. Nice. Guys, rest that down. Okay, blind balance. We've been doing this for the last few weeks. Okay, find your balance on your right leg and lift your left knee. Hands out. Now close your eyes and go forward. So all we're doing here is taking away your ability to help to use your eyes as balance, or to help you balance, sorry. So bad at this, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Change legs, change legs. So balance on the left leg, take the arms up, bring the knee up, pull the tummy in. Good luck, close your eyes. We have to learn to use our muscles to help with that balance. 10 more seconds. Three, two, four. It's crazy how bad I am at that. <laughs> okay, we're going to go Hindu squat. So take your arms back up over your head, rise up onto your tiptoes, and then sink down into a squat. 
and then lift back up. So the balance now is because we're on our toes. Try and get your arms as far back as you can, as open as you can in that V. Work on posture as well. Good. So sinking nice and long, nice and deep, keeping the chest tall. And up as far as you can on the tiptoes. In this balance here, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, pull up to help balance. Good. Okay, should we do one more? down and we're going to come into a low lunge to triangle so head down onto the mat watch first i'm in a low lunge here i'm going to take my arm to the sky here hold for a few seconds then i'm going to take that hand down i'm going to turn my back foot and i'm going to open this arm do that again so that hand comes down turn the back toe Open the opposite hand to the feet to earth, sorry, fingers to the sky. Bring that hand down, turn the back toe, and then open up here. Try to get these fingertips as high to the sky as we can. Good, let's do that again. Hand comes down, turn the back toe, open the arm to the sky. Bring that hand down, turn the back toe. So we're building stability. Also working on a good stretch and a twist in this one. Last time, last time. Open that arm up. Bring that hand back down. And the thighs are going to feel this. Push up into warrior. So from here straight into warrior. How is that right leg? Yeah? Okay. From here we're going to push into triangle. So you're going to straighten that front leg and lower down into a stretch. Hold for a few seconds here. Keeping this top hand back. Okay, now bend back into that warrior. Hold for a few seconds. Be strong. Pull the shoulder blades down your spine. Pushing straight in the front leg. Slide the hand down the thigh. Into that triangle stretch. Turning the head to the bottom of the fingers at the top. One more time. Bend the knee. Hold here. Straighten that front leg. Stretch last time. Good job, guys. So we're going to do those two stretches on the opposite side now. So push back up and change sides. We're coming over to the left side, whichever leg you did before. Into low lunge. So my hand is down on the floor. I'm taking my hand that's the same side as my knee up to the ceiling. I bring that hand down. I stay low. I turn my back toe and then open the arm up to the sky. Good, hand comes down, turn the back toe. Drop that hip if you're struggling, you can drop the knee at the back if you need to. When you're ready, move on, bring that hand down, turn the back toe, open the arm to the sky. Good, last one, bring it down, turn the back toe. slow triangle. Now we're going to push up into that warrior. So from there, be strong through the thigh. Push up, hold for a few seconds. Straighten the front leg and then lengthen the fingers down towards the shin, towards the foot. Just stopping where you feel comfortable. Bend the knee again. Push back up. Straighten the leg. Lower to the So let me do the mobility section. So roll down here. Walk the hands out. 
holding that balance in the plank, bring the weight forward on your hands, walk back in, on curl up, good, let's go one more time, so roll down and walk out, now this time we're going to stay here and we're just going to add a little balance, so take your feet just a little bit wider if you need to, take one hand off, take the opposite leg off, hand off to that side and then the opposite leg off and just keep that pattern going the last 10 seconds three two relax walk the hands back into the knees roll back up okay mobility done stability done we're heading into flexibility now. So first of all, I'm gonna get us to move through some dynamic stretches, um, some more mobility in there as well. And then we're gonna put a, then we've got a little flow section right at the end. So we're gonna start with a brief flow. So we're gonna start with our feet just widening our hips. We'll go back to that squat we did in the beginning. So nice deep squat, brush the fingers down, and then take the arms and stretch overhead. So I've just turned side up so you can see I'm trying to keep my back as flat as I can. And if that means that you're more here and you're not touching the floor yet, that's absolutely fine. We're just coming as deep as you feel you can get into the stretch. Good. So opening the fingers to the sky, nice and deep. Now, do one more. And then come with me here, keeping the feet wide, we're going to inhale, arms come to the front, and then we're going to tip into wide leg forward fold. So we're going to rest our fingertips down towards the floor, and head looking through the legs. Not forcing it, but just moving gently into the stretch. Now walk your hands over to the right foot, and just pull yourself in a little bit closer, over this right side. Do the same thing on the left, so walk the hands across and come into that left side. And then finish in the middle one more time, last 10 seconds. So if you can get deeper into the stretch, let's see if you can drop down onto elbows. Bend in the knees, taking your time to roll back up, hands on thighs, round through the back, and roll all the way back up. Guys, come down onto the mat for me now. And we're gonna head back into our little down dog we practiced in the warm up. So knees on the shoulders, hands, knees on the shoulders, no. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. Push the hips, let's go. Up for two, and then roll back down. Stretching through the calves as we come into that down dog. Flattening off the back. Now stay in your down dog, stay there. Head tucked under, try and have the elbows by the ears. Head looking towards the knees. Pushing as much of your weight through. So the heels are as flat as you can. To the knees from here, and we're going to sit into child pose. So just take the hands a little bit further out if you want to. Take the weight back and sit back here, resting the head down. Now we're going to take the right hand and thread underneath the left. So turn the head, drop the shoulder into the floor, so we're threading the needle. So we're really focusing now on the upper back and the shoulder. This is where you should feel that. Let's change sides. So opposite hand, thread through, drop the shoulder to the floor, turn the head. And again, feeling it through the top of the back, the shoulders, releasing any tension there. Take the hand back out. Sit back one more time into that child pose. Now we're going to move this into 
into a little up dog. Watch, you're going to slide along the floor. When your hands are under the shoulders, we're going to push to up dog. Stretching through the abdominals, rolling the shoulder blades back when we do that. Hold for a few seconds and then sit back again. So stretch off through the back and then slide along the floor. Push through and lift. Extend it all the way to the side. up here and then slide and lift up. Let's go one more of those to so sit back. Really lengthen the fingers away, bottom right back into the heels and then slide and lift. Move into a high lunge. You just push the hip forward. Now see how I'm trying to push forward to feel this stretch here. Take the arms overhead and have the elbows as near to the ears as you can. Look, turn the head back and look towards the ceiling as we do that. Relax and change sides. So we're going to take the opposite foot forward. I'm going to push forward through my hips, take my arms back up here. So if anything, my upper back is leaning back, but my hips are pushing forward. Good job, guys. From here, hands back down. I'm going to step back to our down dog. So knees on the hips, push the hips to the sky. Now we're going to introduce a single leg down dog. So if you can, we're going to take the right foot to the sky and push the left heel down towards the floor. If this doesn't feel okay for you, you're going to stick with a normal down dog and stay with the heels, both heels making contact with the floor. Bring that foot down and change sides. So opposite foot in the air. We're still pushing the heel to the floor, but we're feeling that gorgeous stretch now. Through the hamstrings. Good job, 10 more seconds. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Ooh. Bring that foot down, come down onto the mat. Face me, place the soles of the feet together, pushing down with the elbows onto the knees. So we start to feel that stretch out for your inner thigh. Okay, if you can, take both feet out wide, and now we're going to push from behind. So we're going to keep our chest as tall as we can, and the knees glued to the floor. So a gorgeous stretch for the inner thigh. If this gets too much, bring the feet back together, push down on the elbows again. Okay, if you can, take the right hand down, left hand is going to reach up, and remember that side bend, we get right in the warm up, let's see how well we can get. Not fast in it. Good. 
walk the fingers back in. Relax, bring the knees together. We're going to come back up to standing now and we're going to head into a flow. So I'm going to get us to do a little sun salutation to finish the class. Um, so we're moving a little bit more. So I'm just going to turn my mat so you can see me a little bit better here. Okay. So team, standing at the top of your mat, we're going to go into a forward fold. So we're going to take a nice deep breath. Fan your arms up. Now exhale down into a forward fold. So bend over the thighs. If your knees are bent, don't worry, but just try and pull your body into the thighs as much as you can. Now from here, take another breath in and flatten the back, straighten the legs halfway. Bend the knees and step back into plank. From here, we chaturanga, tricep push up down. And then dive through into your up dog, turning the feet over so that you're on the top of the feet. Lengthen in, head to sky. Turn the toes under, lift the hips, and push the weight back in the heels. Now what we've just practiced, take the right foot in the air for single leg down dog, pushing that left heel to the floor. Now the leg that's in the air, we're going to swing that leg through to low lunge, foot to the hand, and twist the hand to the sky, and then thread under. So we lift up, and then thread. Now take the hands, sorry, take uh, the knee down at the back, take the hands to the sky, back into that back bend if you can, pushing the hip forward. If you have the strength in the legs now, we're going to push up into high lunge, and then we're going to bring the back foot in to start again. If you need help, hands on thighs on that point. Start again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, down into forward fold. Hug the body into the knees. Half lift, straighten everything. Flatten the back, flatten the legs. Bend the knees, hands to floor, step back. Tricep push up to Chaturanga. Toes under and lift to your up dog, lengthen to the sky. Turn the toes under, push to down dog. Take a left leg in the air for single leg down dog. Swing that leg through to your hand. Long lunge twist. Open to the sky. Take the hands up, drop the back knee. Stay here if you want to drop all the way to the floor if you can. Slide that bend. Push up to stand in, bring the feet together. We're going one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down, forward fold. Hard lift, flat back. Bend the knees, step back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Dog. Take the right heel in the air for single leg down dog. Pushing the left foot to the floor. Now swing that leg through to your hand. Low lunge twist and then thread through. Do one more. Drop that hip low. Push into high lunge. Drop the back knee. Back bend if you need to. Push the hip forward. Push up into high lunge, bring the feet together. Last time, deep breath in. Dive into that forward fold. Hard lift, flat back. Hands down, bend the knees, step back. Chaturanga, bend the elbows. Dive, lift to up dog. Toes on the lifted down dog. Left leg in the air, single leg down dog. Swing that leg through to your hand. Low lunge, twist and open. Thread through, through. And again. Take the hands up, drop the back knee. Push the hip forward into back bend. Good job, guys. Bring the feet up, high lunge, feet together. Roll the shoulders back. 
our dog. We're going to finish on the floor. Come down and sit onto the floor in for our right angle stretch. So let's have the right foot at the front and the left leg back. So we're going 90-90 stretch. Now just walk the fingers forward into that stretch. I'm going to turn to the side now so you can see me a little bit better. Now if that stretch is okay but you could go further, extend the back foot, come up and over. So we sit more into the glute, into pigeon. And walk the hands forward if you want to. Lower, flatten the back into the legs, resting the head down. All staying in that 90 90 stretch. Walk the fingertips back in, bend the knee and come back into right angle if you move to pigeon. Mermaid stretch. So this hand's coming down at the back, push the hips forward, take the arm overhead, look to the fingers and feel that big, big stretch there. Sit back from that, bring this foot round. Bring the heel of your foot into the top of the thigh. Lean forward and walk the hands out into hamstring stretch for this side. stretch on the left. So one foot here at a right angle, one foot here at a right angle. That's enough for you, stay there and just work on getting lower. If you want to change it out, we're going to straighten the back leg, we're going to come up and over, sit more into the hip and walk up. Fingers, come down onto the elbows, whatever needs to happen here. Seconds. Walk the hands back in, come back to that 90-90, come to mermaid. So this hand comes to the back, push your hip forward, take the hand overhead. Gorgeous stretches from the fingertips right down to the knees on the floor. Lower the bottom down, bring the foot round. Took the toe up. Heel into the top of the thigh. Sit tall and lean forward. Walking the fingertips out, feeling that stretch in the back of the thigh.